And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ezria Elnux, our next deck in our tier one day. Today we're playing uh, some of the best decks in Legends of Runeterra for our rank up Sunday stream. Um, we just finished with uh, the Kinku Elusives that went six and four and that and this next deck, Ezria Elnux, are the two decks that I think are both um, like before today, they'd be my picks for the best decks, but we only did end up going six and four. This deck is uh, more, this is a control deck with Ezreal, where Ezreal needs to target the enemy units eight times, then you level up, and then whenever you cast a spell, you do two damage to the opponent. And so we're trying to target our our enemy stuff, so that's why we have things like the Ice Veil Archer and the Avarosan Marksman. Um, and then of course, with things that can uh, target twice, Static Shock, Harsh winds. Um, to to pair with Ezreal though, to help us um, out, like in in the mid game, we got our Elnuk package with the troop of Elnuks that can bring a bunch of Elnuk friends along with it um, to help us stabilize the battlefield and get to the late game. And then Ezreal, Progress Day, cards like that take over. So let's see how we do. We're going to play in ranked here. So we're playing 10 matches. Um, you know, yesterday, or like before I was doing seven and then I kind of decided like those videos were a little short. So we went to nine yesterday and then I was like, well, if I'm doing nine, I, might, I should probably just do 10. And so you can just kind of do like the easy math. Like we went six and four. So we had a 60% win rate with Kinku Elusive and so on. All right, so I like the two... I like those two cards. Nice. Chump Pump's good. I like this curve. So we're going to be playing 40, 40 games a day. And of course, in, except for Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays will be a, are the expedition days. Ezreal's the kind of like Ezreal's kind of different from other champions where you don't really need to play Ezreal right away. A lot of other champions you do want to play them right away. Ezreal you just kind of want to have have leveled up and then you play as and then he immediately transforms and start casting a bunch of other spells and doing damage and stuff like that. Welcome. Yeah, curving curving is very important. Yeah. I I actually have never played Yu-Gi-Oh, so I'm not sure, you know, how you know what Yu-Gi-Oh is like with that, but with, with Legends of Runeterra here, curving curving out is definitely important. Um especially because like that's how like the mana system, you know, like your your mana goes away if you don't curve out. Um if you can if you can use the extra mana There's still. Nothing to fear. Um you know, then then it's there it is. then you have like a a leg up if you can use that extra mana. But um, you want to be able to use as much mana as you can throughout the game. And so if you're not curving out, you're wasting mana. There won't be a warning shot. Besides getting behind on tempo and everything like that, um, do I use brittle steel? Nah. Brittle Steel keeps my 3-1 alive, but the 3-1, all the 3-1 does is, like, yes, it, it stays alive, but the 3-1 is just going to trade with a 1-1. So it's not like the 3-1 the is super valuable. Well, I guess the 3-1 would have been good to block a Mist Wraith or a 4-3. So maybe I was wrong. I could rummage, but we don't really need to because I have my turn five play with the troop of Elnux. And we also have not drawn another Elnux, which is awesome. Wow, they're Mr. Eighth Mist. No. Oh, it wasn't a Mist Wraith, it was a Wraith Caller. Wraith 
collar, but now my my Elnux missed also. <clears throat> That's a better use of the brittle steel. Keep the four four alive. Done three with Ezreal so far. I thought you'd never ask. All right, I'm gonna play Ezreal and attack because I have like I kind of have some extra mana so we can get. Sounds dangerous. Not we can get a, a Mystic shot. And I'll just take the free Mystic Shot. So like the puff caps, it's like they're they're good to rummage away, but then also if you if we get to flip Ezreal, the puff caps are just the perfect cards to be doing a lot of damage. But maybe we need to rummage them away. We we don't have to make that decision right now because we get to store that extra mana anyway. <laughs> yeah, we have no Elnuk friends. Unfortunately. Yeah, rummage is discard two, draw two. So, you know, like, that's why, like, yeah, so, we, like, we get to create the two mushroom clouds, and then we can discard them and draw, you know, basically turn this into just a, a real draw two. Oh, the string fresh tracks gotcha <gasps> One man short from playing the troop. So this would put me down to seven. Look out for so block there and I stay at nine. Stuff, but could you maybe then Hecarim stays at six little... toughness. That's probably okay. Hey, Night Eye. So, so far, yeah, we've, so, so far we've played, uh, see up here in the top left corner, we've played uh, 10 matches. We played with Kinko Elusives, and so we went six and four, so basically climbed up two spots. And now we're uh, first game with Ezreal. It's not bragging if you can back it up. Can't 
stop me. All right, got a free Mystic Shot. All right, well, we got one Elnuk friend. Not the Elnuk friend I wanted. So I'm just going to, um, yeah, absolutely, Blade, yeah. Yeah, I'll definitely do donation decks. They don't know what they're up against. Um, with this as well, as long as I have the cards and, you know, can put together the deck. But yeah, I can def yeah, I'll definitely do donation decks with this. So I know that's a waste of a thermogenic beam, but we have another one. And you know now we get to flip Ezreal, so every spell that we play does two damage to them. So when we like harsh winds, mystic shot, that kind of stuff, we're doing two damage to them. And Ezreal still has Nexus Strike, make make a mystic shot. I thought I thought I heard angry elk noises. You would be correct. Sure. We got the elk nuts. And they are down to down to fourteen. Uh, now they have black spear. That hurts. Hey, we got a party in here now. Boot, Storm, Rex, all here. Problem is there's a good chance they have another Hecarim in hand. I really hope not, of course. Yep, they do. I do not take orders from you. Oh dang, I'm sorry I had a bad work day today. Hey Moogie Bear, yeah, just playing playing this new game, Legends of Runeterra instead. This game is awesome. It's not super likely that we draw a Mystic Shot because we've had so many, but if we do, we can maybe take out Hecarim. Ooh, that's a good card. It's probably our best draw step, TBH. They had another Hecarim in hand. No, everything costs three, and we have two. Uh, well, 
we can't stay alive. They have exactly nine damage. So I guess the progress day wasn't a very good draw because we didn't draw anything that we could cast. And Well, actually, they have a lot more than exactly nine now, right? Because that thing transforms. That was a good match. Good, good game there. Good game. Too many Hecarims paired with both of our Troop of Elnux basically whiffing. And one whiffing, one bringing another troop. Like that, that definitely hurt. Hey, Elite. Welcome. And Blade gifting out the sub to Storm. Thank you so much there, Blade. Gets us our third sub of the day. Oh, right. Static Shock. Spooky Karma. Mulligan. Yeah, I do think this game will be popular enough to sustain tournaments and streamers. Absolutely. Yeah, I think so. They're out there. I'll spot them. I can just... Too well designed of a game and and yeah like it's you know it is pretty early as far as you know like you're not going to have like a the biggest following after five weeks of a game and, and everything um so it is early but Safeguard our homes. no i have a I have a lot of a lot of confidence in this game All right, playing another sentry. Dark Nothing escapes my watch. Yeah. Yeah, and the other thing about yeah, like whenever it gets released in. In a couple, you know, in a few months, like they said that that's supposed to be the first half of 2020. Whenever it gets released, it's going to be available on mobile. And once once this game's available on mobile, I think it's going to really shoot up. Doom Waffle with the tier one. Aw, thank you so much, Doom Waffle. Ah, undo. I don't want to move that. Um, I'm just going to skip the block. Skip the block, play the bowl. We need more cows. This thing being a 1-1, one, one, you know, we can kill it with the static shock. Yeah, the, the, road, the roadmap for new sets that I have seen... Um, yeah, no, no hard line. Basically the roadmap that I've seen, which may not be, you know, like, you know, basically don't, don't think this is exact, but what, what they saw, what it looked like they said in the, um, this, the last update patch update. That's the word I was trying to think of the word patch, the, the past in the patch update. It was basically like, it was like set release and then, um, it was like set release and then the next thing be like a small patch afterwards. Uh, this is going to be bad for me. I can't I can't really stop this. They have they're going to have death mark also. There we go. We get some get some cows. Got some cattle this time. All right, anyway, um, so it's like set release and then the next month like small patch update for like bugs and you know that kind of stuff 
Um, and then, gosh, that was a good hand. All right, so then small patch update, and then the then the main patch update that's like for metagame considerations, like what we just had, like where they'll really be updating cards uh, for the most part. You know, like if they have to do something after the for the first patch, they will. Um, but but you know, um, so then that Ready the torches. as the the third as like the third uh, third thing, and then and then after that another minor update. If, you know, anything needs to happen. And then new set again. So it seems like it's a four-month cycle. Like, new set, two small patch updates, and one one main update. That's what I was trying to get to after all of that. Don't blink or you miss me. Okay, the last balance patch was a minor patch. Okay. So maybe that was like the first minor patch and then the next one would be like the, the major. So so I'm kind of thinking like four month cycles. So then like three months or three. Three sets a year. I'm sorry. Talk, talking while playing is kind of difficult, but hopefully y'all are following me. Ten mana, deal ten damage. All right, get that eleven nine out of here. They got ruination. And just clear the board. So right now we're up on cards. You know they got the four cards. We got the six. Yep, there's ruination. So you know, like everything's clear. They got four cards. We got six, and we're both. Uh, same with mana. We have the same mana. The thing is, our six cards aren't spectacular. These brittle steels aren't great. We don't have spectacular cards. I knew, and now honestly. Hear that? Gotcha. I'm just going to rummage away the two brittle steels. I don't know why they're not attacking for one. They just had a free attack for one. I just didn't want to do it, I suppose. I don't really have no I don't necessarily have a favorite deck right now um, I've never been one too much for favorites but I made a I made a Vladimir rally deck yesterday that I, I really liked playing this one to play I like I like kind of like the Vladimir Noxus aggro stuff. All right, so these mushroom clouds, I can I can discard them for these get excited. But then, honestly, since they're a slow deck, I'm a slow deck. Honestly, giving them five mushroom clouds can do a lot of damage over the late game. By late game, I mean the long game. That's what I meant to say. Over the long game. 
I don't know, does it just like kill me? Harrowing, super powerful. My light for Avarosa. This is me going down to eight. I like the life gain stoppage at 20, honestly. There would be some games that would take really, really long for you if you got to keep on going up. I actually think that that's pretty nice, stopping the life gain at 20. And it, it makes... Um, it does, again, put put value of like where you put your creatures for combat and everything, like the different lanes. It makes that uh, aspect more valuable and stuff as well. You'd have you'd have a lot more games going to who draws the rest of their cards if you limited it to twenty. I feel like, they don't know what they're up or like if you if you let people keep going up. Don't blink or you miss me. I actually like it. Suffering, so we may end it. These old eyes still see far and clear. Look out for reavers. Light the signal fires. Speaking of backup to twenty, that's our opponent. Let's see, like, so I order like this, so they gain six life, but they're at 20, but now, you know, all they do is just go back up to 20. Wait, do I just have lethal? Four, eight, thirteen. Whatever the cost. Yeah, I think I do. They can have deny. So they could have deny. Chill in the air. I have 13 damage in hand right now that I can cast right now if they tap out. We will not stand by. Stay back. Still have enough damage to, to deal lethal.
I'm hoping they don't have another gain life card. And this works. No, don't have another gain life card or removal or anything. They had nothing. They had nothing. This is 10 matches with this deck is going to take a little while. <laughs> this this could take a little while. This could be two and a half hours, I guess, if we're going at this rate. Anyway, Blade, thank you so much for the gifted sub there, Nidai. Um, you know, welcome to the sub club. Oh, I need to update it over here. Is that That's our fifth sub of the day, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Hit that sub goal. Marking that down towards another 12-hour stream. Let's see where we're at. Ten, so we're halfway there. We've hit ten sub goals. Whenever we get to twenty, we're doing a twelve hour stream. Oh right, I have to do this whole thing. What are your impressions of other champions' personalities aside from Ezreal? Um yeah, I I really like the the champions. I think that they're pretty, you know, pretty leveled. I think Heimerdinger is probably the most powerful overall champion. Hecarim is up there as well. There's a scent in the air. Yeah, I think I do consider the Karma Lux deck a control deck. I've seen it labeled mid-range also. Like, the first time that I played it, I labeled it as mid-range. That's kind of annoying. How long can they keep the Zed alive? Oh, that's actually pretty bad for me. Maybe I just shouldn't have done that with the beam. The opponent just has Zed as their only champion. Just need a target. Ezreal's at 5 out of 8. So can they keep this Zed alive? Oh, sorry. What would you say is a fun and decent deck for new players to make to learn the game? Yeah, the spider aggro. Yeah, I like that. I think that's a, a good, definitely a good option. Um, you can also kind of go towards... Uh, like a burn aggro with just 
you know, like we played the burn aggro the other day that had it had Teemo and Jinx, but you can play it with just you know, like you don't need Teemo. You can play it with just Jinx. And uh, if you really don't want to, like you you can honestly play it with no champions if you want. But it's it's definitely a lot better with Jinx because Jinx is so good. But. Come on, Elnux. Uh, only one cow. Strength and grace. Beauty That's pretty good. <laughs> no, not necessarily Void Rose, but for 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 now at least, or just you know, like I'm, I'm just kind of change games. So if they have another rally and another protection spell, if they have both of those, I'm dead. The how they're playing, it makes it seem like they do. There's the rally. I hope they don't have another protection spell. Yeah, they do. All right, one and two. Your control deck. Uh, the deck is set to private. You have to set it to public so I can see it. Like whenever you, <clears throat> whenever you save the deck, there's an option for public or private. There we go. I have not played any Fiora decks yet. No, Fiora is a champion that I don't I don't have yet. I have I have one Fiora that I've opened up, but that's it. So no, I haven't haven't played any Fiora decks. Ugh. Ouch. So like our hand wasn't that good. You know, I wanted to get some just cheaper spell, different stuff and everything. But basically when you have Troop of Elnux, you don't want to draw Bull Elnux. Like the, drawing Elnux is are the worst draw because you want them in, in your deck so whenever you play the troop, you can get them out. Hello. So this is, um, you know, Karma Control. I'll just play the 3-1 and put some pressure on because we're just playing as like a mid-range creature deck with the cards that we got in hand. The dark Gonna get a whole bunch of mushroom clouds, maybe just send send the mushroom clouds their way. Just try to add up damage over time. Let's go chump lump. <laughs> oh no! I have an Elnuk. Oh, right Alright, so you have Shadow Isles control. Yeah, who's bringing all the cows to the party? They can 
cannot hide. Yeah, so going Ledros, Atrocity combo. That's pretty sweet. I like it. That deck looks pretty good. I'll save it. Move. Move over. <laughs> the stakes have never been higher. <laughs> you cannot escape. Cat versus cows. So I can like harsh winds all their stuff. Keep mine alive. Or I just play more chump lumps and give them a bunch more puff caps, and I think I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> I've gotta keep this match moving along. Yeah, down to seven. Especially with them playing a slow deck, me playing a slow deck, these puff caps are. <clears throat> Our threat. Hey, Necrolepsy. No. Our thermogenic beam was denied. Just can never get those approved. Central office is always like, no, you can't have a thermogenic beam. And we're like, come on, why not? What will you have? It's a good card. Me mask, secure me tail, start to die. Nothing escapes my watch. Pay dirt. I don't know what the, like, how we would get punished for playing the Bull Elduck first before attacking in. They're having the 4 1 block a 4 5, not a 4 4. How does that even make sense? What is this block all about? Is this just about. Looks like it's about setting up Avalanche. Like it's set. The only way to make these blocks is to set up Avalanche. Puff caps, you're not doing your job. Yeah, do you think they could realistically add Elnuk support without breaking the game? I don't know. 
If they add another Elnuk, that'd be pretty crazy. Maybe not, honestly. Like it's it's definitely po it's it's very possible that they could not add another Elnuk, and that the, the troop of Elnuks would be too good if there was if you could have nine Elnuks in your deck. Just looks at so many cards. Yeah, maybe there's like one one L Nux, like baby Nuck. Rest. Collect your thoughts. One damage. <clears throat> I liked our puff cap plan a little bit better before they just gained six life the last the last turn. We got a lot of cards over there. And presumably one of the, the lot of cards they have is an avalanche. War Mother's Call. Card sweep. Alright, so they get their own cow. So that was a burn spell that could go upstairs. Risky playing it now, but I want to go straight to combat, and obviously karma is just so good. So this is 11 damage. Hey, Grief. No. Frostbitten. Well, they're Frostbitten, too. So Ezreal should be leveled up now. Oh, no. Never mind. Not even close. Not even close. So whereas they get they get a new creature every single turn because of that war mother's call. Down to five. Let's go puff caps. <laughs> Ooh. Excuse you. They of course want to play Avalanche to kill creatures, so we're, we're just gonna block with the two creatures that would have gotten Avalanched away. I can play that. I can play that game too. Which might as well. Heh. 
<laughs> Everything's so frozen. RL next. RL nuts are always fresh, never frozen. Unlike our competitors, L nuts. So yeah, Ice Veil Archer, you have to play it to get the bonus. I assume these aren't really the creatures they want to be getting uh, with their War Mother's Call. My life but I got trips in hand. Our chump bombs can be frozen. <laughs> they have jalapeno fries? I didn't even know that. Or whenever I was in like high school, I'd get Wendy's a lot and love their spicy chicken sandwich. And uh, you know, Frosties with where you dump, you dip the fries in the frosty. That's the way to go. Have their fries be a vessel for the frosty. Do they? They just don't have any more creatures in their deck. They must all be in hand, I guess. They just got nothing with the War Mother's Call. Oh, it's so good! Like the warm, the warmness of the fry and the coolness of the frosty. It's so good. Oh, they did just get the 3 1. Okay, yeah, that's right. So they had that 3 1 4. <clears throat> Finally, they're casting that avalanche. They're out there. And I want to have spells whenever I play Ezreal. I don't want to just play Ezreal without spells. Escapes my watch. I don't know what kind of removal they're gonna have if I do play Ezreal. They're out there. I'll spot them. How is how can it be bad for me to play Ezreal? What's what's the worst that can happen against Frel Yord Ionia? I can't really think of anything. Yeah, just just a bounce spell. Which bounce spell is not a problem. It just goes back to my hand anyway. I thought you'd never ask. Yeah, because they just have like bounce and and frostbite. Yeah, challenger. Okay, yeah, challenger creature like a wolf. Ooh, two mushrooms. They're at two. If I cast Brittle Steel, it does two damage. Oh, I guess it is burst speed, isn't it? So I don't have to worry about them responding. So I might as well cast it. No, Frosty's from Wendy's, the, the shakes. Ugh, that's burst speed also. Rough. Hmm. 
Yeah, if I would have just cast it immediately before I went to attacks. Because it was a burst spell. But Puff Cap's got my back. Puff Cap's got my back. All right, two and two. All right, see you tomorrow, Storm. Have a good night. All right, so this was a deck that we just lost to a little bit ago. Ionia, Demacia with Zed. Whole bunch of protection. And they just tried to bogle up one, one threat. If you know bogles. Any Ash deck I can re recommend? I haven't played an Ash deck myself. I don't. I don't have Ashes yet. Um, there is just an Ash deck on like the meta tier list. Here, this is the code for it. If you want to try this out. Um. I will shoot that. See if I can get like a rank or get to an actual. Uh, don't know if I can get a link to that specific deck. The Yordle here is with me. This probably won't end bad, right? It didn't end bad. Got some cows coming through. So there's three other Elnux in my deck, as far as Troop of Elnux is concerned. So not too likely. The troop of Elnux hits. Let's move. Stuff, but could you maybe speed things? No sweat. So they'd have to have like two tricks here. Like they probably have one trick. On, I was gonna say they probably have one trick to keep it alive, but then we have the mystic shot for for another one. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Woo 
All right, well, this is going pretty well. That turn worked worked well for me. Step lightly. Hmm. Well, I said that was going well for us just a little bit ago. But now they have a 5-5 five, five life linker. That's going to be difficult to deal with. Stay safe. I'll take it from here. Please no barrier. Please no barrier. No barrier one time. All right, no barrier. Nice. I haven't played any War Mother's Control yet because I don't have like Anivias and stuff like so that's that's something I haven't gotten to yet. Um, playing against the deck, it seems okay, but not not amazing. Um, feels like feels like it like the top end's good, but it feels like the early mid game stuff it could maybe be improved. I'm not sold on that Catalyst of Aeons card at all, and that's like kind of what the deck's built around, but I, I don't, I'm not sold to that card. It's very good, to be honest. So why not just Mystic the, yeah, why didn't I just Mystic shot the 3-2 the and then do five damage to it? Is be, basically because I thought like the, besides, Besides a barrier, I thought the other card they could they could likely have would be um, the Twin Disciplines. And if they have Twin Disciplines, if they'd have Twin Disciplines, I wanted to do seven damage to the creature and leave it at one toughness so that then my Mystic Shots would be lethal on it. So yeah, basically I was worried about Twin Disciplines. Yeah, if you could go above 20 life, the games would go a lot longer and uh, library size would come into play more. Kind of unnecessarily long. On I, I like that aspect that you don't go above 20 life. I found that to be a good play experience that you don't have to worry about trying to kill somebody from 45 life and and everything. All right, Harsh Winds is a good one. Chandler, what's up? They cannot strike what they cannot see. 36 years. Such a long resub. The 36 year resub. Thanks, Chandler. All right, what do we got? So yeah, we got the 5-5 five, five Lifelinker. Again, so I got nine mana. This costs five. <laughs> I've been, been subbed since before I was born. All right, so the Harsh Winds flips Ezreal. Now every spell that we cast does two damage to them. Oh, that's a right there. And let's give them these mushroom clouds right away so they have a chance of drawing them. Then all I have to do is untap and Static Shock. Go 
the honor of my house. Yeah, this song is uh, My House by P-V-R-I-S. Oh, got a couple puff caps there. I guess I could just play the burst spell and the burst spell they can't respond to and does the two damage. All right, three and two. Just trying to win 60% of our matches. It's always a good rate. All right, Freljord, Noxus, Ash. Probably not a Static Shock matchup. I'll keep the Mystic Shot. I guess it may be a Static Shock ma matchup. If it's like this deck here. Victory yeah, they have. Yeah, maybe it is a Static Shock matchup. All right, uh... Two mana. They're out there. I'll spot them. For glory. Face me. Okay. Alert the villains. I'll take that. Tough call. I want to play Static Shock, but I also, you know, like, tough call what to play. I guess I'll just go Marksman, because then maybe we get to attack with Marksman. Mm. If I would have just passed, I wonder if they would have just played that, and then I could have Static Shocked two enemies. That would have been nice. Do, 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 do. No attack, didn't want to trade. I will you Ash. Oh no! I didn't think about that card. That card ruins my plan. Of Static Shock Domination. Remember why we fight. I don't know why you fight. I guess our opponent doesn't know why they fight either. It's a bad memory. Yeah, you're you're probably right there, Ryuku. Yeah, I think you're you're probably yeah. I think you're right with um, after you know after I played that they play their both creatures get plus zero plus three. I still had a safe Elnuk attack because because yeah trading the. Either of those creatures for the Elnek would not have been a good trade for them. So, and they were uh, tapped out at that point. So, yeah, I think you're right. I should have attacked with the uh, Elnek. Uh, 
oh, hey, custom. Yeah, just change the name to to be able to have a name that can work with any game and not just be tied to any one specific game. So we played against this kind of deck earlier, and they were like more of a an Elise control. So that's kind of what I'm expecting again. I think I want to sh send the Ezreal back. I'm going to ship that. We don't need that right away. Um, keep the rest. I was thinking about sending back the Thermogenic Beam also. I like these two. And I don't want to draw other Elnuk, so drawing spells is good. Where are you? I must get out of here. I'd follow you anywhere. Of course you would. Battleese. No. I had to say something of how I don't want to draw Elnox, didn't I? Just two Elnox draws in a row. That egg. Did it move? Do they have like Oh, this is the frostbite one anyway. I was thinking this was the one damage card anyway. Oh, didn't play anything. Let's go and try to bring some more cow friends. No cow friends. We have no cow friends. So I'm not sure exactly how this works. And they still didn't play anything again. If, you know, like, look at the top 10 cards of your deck. I assume it doesn't, like, shuffle the deck afterwards so that so that if I play a troop, it's still, like, just going to miss. That would be my assumption. A chill in the air. Oh, it does shuffle in between? Oh, okay. Well, then maybe I should have tried that. If it's a fight they want. They had a lot of cow friends. I have a lot of cow friends too. We all have cow friends. Yeah, it's definitely shuffled because, you know, we would not hit all those Elnux if it didn't. So that's all the Elnux in the deck. We had all six. But we know we're not drawing any more Elnux. What? Has overwhelm. Rude.
rude. <laughs> That's a pretty good combo. That's a pretty good combo. Been seeing the last like couple of days, a lot of people are playing, putting a bunch of atrocity in their decks. Been seeing a lot of those recently. Oh, that's the bull elf knocked out the wrong one. Oh, I should have sent that back. I didn't want to draw you to those cards that we drew, also. Hey, yeah, Purple Motion. Yeah, this, this game is awesome. I do hope you give it a try here pretty soon. This game's a, it's a ton of fun to play. So I'll be able to use Static Shock. Really? Well, GG's. I got ways to find me mushrooms. So I, I wanted to keep the troop of Elnux, I just kept the wrong Elnux, but... <laughs> yeah, no Teferi gets me interested, right? Ugh, I have to have that thing resolved before I can brittle steal. I don't have enough mana, really? Oh, I guess because that's using all that mana. Hmm. That's not what I was expecting. That's not what I was expecting at all.
Yeah, I think, yeah, I timed out. Yeah, I timed out. They're gonna win this though, they got too many cards in hand, like that, that troop of Elnux just put them too far ahead. That's my expectation. Hear that? Gotcha. There it is. Not, not liking my chances. But if we lose this, we go back to 500. Um, we've played, like, I think we've played three Elnux so far. As far as having getting a lucky Elnuck is concerned, I think we've played we've had three of them so far. Okay, so we've targeted eight times, so we can play Ezreal. Ezreal will flip immediately. And then just attack out. I'm so good, I surprised myself. I guess we don't have to attack. Out. We can attack with Ezreal. Try to get Mystic Shots. Yeah. Make them waste a harsh winds. I was just going to be saying how this was going better for us, but they have an Ezreal now also. <clears throat> so yeah, like they're it's just going to they're just going to untap and just burst me to death. There's nothing I can do about it. the two mushroom clouds in hand which my opponent has seemed very competent yep. can I surrender already oh. uh, 
All right, four and four. Two more to play. Let's try to win these last two and finish six and four. That's the goal. What do I even want? I don't know. I'll take this. Um... Yeah, I guess I don't. Safeguard our homes. I don't have like a huge like uh, deck box recommendation. I used uh, last year. I used like uh, some a BCW. I don't know exactly what it's called, but like deck locker kind of thing that I really liked. That was had like some fabric on the you know that like um, that opened up to the side. Had like some fabric on the inside. They pulled the deck out of I liked that that's what I that's what I used fresh tracks gotcha all right where's our cows there's our cows. There's the cows. Put on me mask, secure me tail, stop to die. Attack. I Yeah, there's there's a Shen. Okay, okay, yeah, you think you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Um, Minotaur in here. There's a Shen Fiora deck. I think that's what. What HPG uh, pools is talking about. Hopefully that helps. escapes my watch I want to kill the hecarim but I also don't want to use all of my mana to do it like a... so I'm basically taking 10 damage to get this 2 one out here that may not end up being worth it oh no fools it's all good I don't I don't have any I don't have any Fiora Shen deck it's all good Yeah, I'm, I'm never one to like hold back information, you know, and you're 
you know, you're saying like a suggestion for another streamer's deck, it's all, it's all good. Puts them down to seven. I have four direct damage. Thing all I needed to find was, you know, get excited. Which is what I was trying to do. So we still have a harsh winds plus a brittle steel to stay alive and then hopefully find enough to kill them. I'm ready now. Alright, time to go straight to attacks. Uh, zero mana spells. Means they get a blocker. Reading her out of here. So I can uh, give me all these puff caps. I can do the same thing to them, start giving them puff caps with my own chump lump. Or draw three and try to draw into burn spell. I can do the chump lump. Go. 
Don't really imagine that they have... Don't really imagine they're going to... Have stuff to interact here. Excuse you. I, uh, we'll see. I think we got this, though. They could. They could have, like, you know... Drain three, I guess. No, they do have drain three. No. This... And suddenly we're in a lot of trouble. Alright, gotta find another burn spell. There we go, that's one. I'm so good, I Flip Ezreal. Don't blink, or you miss me. No puff caps? There we go. There's a puff cap. Oh, I don't have any mana. But I get to attack. If you could back it up. That was a good game. Even if we're not winning all of our games, we have been playing a lot of good close games. You know, either way, which is definitely something I really like about Legends of Runeterra. GG's. That was a close one, for sure. And we had a we had a real lucky troop of Elnux, right, that hit like three Elnux. That helped get us there. All right, Fearsome Rally. I don't really like the Get Exciteds right away in the game because like right away you don't really have the cards that you want to discard. You know, later on you get, you know, some Mushroom Clouds, you have some cards that don't. There's uh, nothing to fear. Don't really do what you want easier oh i don't have the man to play that one well that makes my choice a lot easier draining getting a spider All right, then we'll just play the marksman and kill the spider. All right, pools, have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. There's a scent in the air. Have a good day at work. You dare. No, I think no Fiora and Karma. I think those work well together. You know, Karma getting the, you those extra spells to help protect your Fiora. I think this worked just, worked just fine. Out from the dark. So good chance they have Mark of the Isles to kill the Elnuk with them attacking like this. Or not. More cows. 
Boo. More moo, less boo. Well, five mana three three isn't as impressive. Emperor, I don't like close games. I like one-sided ones. It's certainly easier to play the one-sided ones. <laughs> Thinking about discarding a progress day. I guess I'd probably just discard the sentry. All their stuff being fearsome. I don't know. It's just like the second progress day. Is it really going to help us? But I guess there's a chance. Put on me mask, secure me tail, stop the day. So I haven't. I fight for the fallen. Bleh. Haven't done much to flip my Ezreal. I thought you'd never ask. Radiant Guardian is awesome against me. It's gonna be a real problem. Card's also awesome against me, and a real problem. Gotcha. Firing. I don't really see me winning this. There's so many cards that if they have, I'm dead. Yeah, I mean, absolutely rally, I'm dead. No! Wasn't really expecting that. Not to target them five more times. So that'd be three, four, five, six, seven mana, 11. That'd leave me with four. That's just not enough to kill him at all. It's not bragging if you could back it up. Can't stop me. Hmm. Sure. Kind of 
feel like they have another Hecarim. Can only attack with six things. Winter, take you. <laughs> Check me out. Most likely going for killing the Hecarim is just going to backfire with them having another Hecarim since they haven't had it, since they aren't playing anything else. Should be a good old five and five. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'll just, I guess I'll untap. All right, finished five and five. So our biggest weakness was large creatures. Uh, There's a lot of large creatures and we really couldn't handle them very well. Um, you know, we can deal with small creatures pretty well, but the large ones uh, were a real problem for us. Um, Yeah, I mean that's that's kind of that's kind of the, the story. Like like Static Shock was pretty underwhelming. Like we just weren't killing the large enough creatures and weren't finishing. You know, like we couldn't really turn the corner well enough and finish all those games. Um, I'm not sure if like there's some like different top end cards that maybe we should be playing. I don't know, like I could see Plaza Guardian, True Shot Barrage, I could see playing those kind of cards. I don't know. Didn't didn't quite have the gas to finish out some of our games and just big creatures, like yeah, like Hecarim, Hecarim being, you know, coming back. Like that's just a, a big problem. Um anyway, but there we go. So there's Ezra Elnux. Uh just went five and five with it today. Uh all right, uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, you know, feel free to leave those comments if you're, uh, you know, doing well with this deck. Um, if you if you're doing anything a little bit differently than what I had going on here, let me know in the comment section there over on YouTube. And of course, hit that like button. Um, I would also appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching Semezra Elnux, and I'll see you for the next video.